This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are getting our first glimpse at plans for one of the biggest developments in Sarasota history. The planning board gave approval last week to Quay, Sarasota, and now we have the artist renderings. ABC 7's Ray Collins has some more details on this massive project planned for the foot of Fruitville Road. Ray. Haley, this one time place to be has been a vacant field for nearly 10 years, but now plans are moving forward. With this coming out and being constructed, that will kind of serve as the front door. Charlie Bailey is the attorney for the Jacksonville-based developers of the new Quay, Sarasota. And if all goes as planned, this view right here will someday look like this. 14 acres, which will include 695 condos, 175 hotel rooms, and 229,000 square feet of commercial, retail, and office space. Uh, there'll be a, a, a variety or varied height amongst uh, each of the blocks, but the tallest would be 18 stories. Here's a look at some of those taller buildings from the water looking back at the project. Bailey says it'll be built in 10 successive blocks starting closest to the Ritz-Carlton and going toward the Hyatt. And so it's going to develop south to north. Certainly a big difference from the previous quay that was one 10-story building. The previous developers knocked down this building about 10 years ago. Now, some opponents worry the new complex will add too much traffic to the area, especially since two other 18-story hotels are currently in the works. But Bailey says by the time this first phase is finished, the first of three traffic rotaries on US-41 will be complete starting at Fruitville Road which is going to add a significant roadway capacity along with the roundabouts to the north at 10th and 14th and the south at Gulf Streams. Neighbors around the new quay have mixed reactions. Besides the traffic, others mention the possibility of noise. But Barbara Pico, who lives in one of the nearby high-rises, is looking forward to it. Oh, I would love to see uh, some cultural things there. I would love it if the Sarasota Orchestra could have a new symphony hall on that corner. That would be the greatest. Either way, it won't be any time soon. If all goes as planned, they won't break ground until 2018, Haley. Wow, and Ray, what's next in the approval process? Well, Bailey predicts the city commission will vote in October and November. They get two votes. And if approved, add 18 months to that until they would start this 8 to 10 year long project. Wow, it's yeah. got a ways to go. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Following calls from South Florida lawmakers for federal funding, Governor Rick Scott, who was in Miami today, says the state Department of Health is allocating another $5 million to Miami-Dade County for Zika preparedness and mosquito control. The first cases of the virus transmitted by mosquito bites on U.S. mainland have been found in the neighborhoods of South Beach and Wynwood. Health experts warn that the virus spreading beyond Florida is only a matter of time, with neighboring states, including Louisiana, not exactly neighboring, but a Gulf state recovering from this historic flooding, facing the greatest threat. Whenever you have a situation of flooding, it leaves areas behind where mosquitoes can breed. And until you get that water cleaned up, it's a hot spot for Zika, for West Nile. As for federal funding, the Obama administration says current funding for vaccine research is slated to run out at the end of next month. Democrats are calling on Congress to come back from summer break early to settle on more money. And in Louisiana tonight, upwards of 2,800 people remain in shelters a week after that deadly flooding in the southern part of the state. The storm and its flooding have damaged an estimated 60,000 homes and forced thousands to seek temporary housing. The state says $20 million worth of federal disaster aid has been distributed to affected residents so far. And while tens of thousands of people have been rescued from the deadly flooding, thousands of animals have been rescued too. Nine dogs that were rescued in Louisiana have been brought back and they brought to the Sun Coast at the Inglewood Animal Rescue Sanctuary. The shelter's director says when they arrived, there was a crowd waiting to foster these dogs. They were clapping and cheering as we pulled in. They had provided food, snacks, and, and all kinds of loves to, love to help these animals. All nine dogs are currently being fostered, but may need to be adopted in the future. The sanctuary is already planning on receiving another 20 displaced dogs from Louisiana within a couple of days. And now we're going to get a check on our forecast and head over to Bob. Well, Haley, tonight uh, things remain warm here along the Sun Coast. The current look at what's happening at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport is still 85 degrees. 
At this hour, the dew point at 73. Winds are calm, so there's not much of a breeze to cool things down. And the pressure actually continuing to rise now at 3014. And what's happening is that high pressure still is in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. This is going to work its way to the northeast overnight and tomorrow. And when that gets in position, we'll start to see more of an east to southeasterly wind component. This frontal boundary will fade away, still bringing some clouds and showers there. But the big story, tropics, very active. We have a newly formed tropical storm now coming from the National Hurricane Center. This is Tropical Storm Gaston, and it is expected to move off into the open waters of the Atlantic. So that looks to be pretty good. Now, this one, on the other hand, this tropical disturbance, as a 60% chance developing into something tropical over the next couple of days. And as far as the forecast path and track, there's still a lot of uncertainty, especially on day four and five, as it makes its way and possibly even dissipates over uh, Dominican Republic. But uh, some models take it off more to the north and west there, while others keep it on a more southerly course. We'll talk more about this system coming up in just a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. The man who escaped Manatee County Sheriff's deputies on Friday is now back in custody tonight. The Sheriff's Office says Joel Canchola has turned himself in and is now charged with escape, giving false information to law enforcement and violation of probation. Deputies say Canchola's car hit a palm tree in the parking lot of a convenience store in Manatee County last week. He was taken into custody, but he managed to escape while handcuffed in the patrol car. Student safety is at the top of administrators' minds as school is now back in session in Sarasota County. Buses will hit the roads around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning for day two. Law enforcement reminding drivers to exercise caution in school zones. Today was also the first day for eight new principals in the county, including Riverview High School's Dr. Paul Burns. My role is to really look at what we're doing, evaluate those programs, uh, and then make changes if necessary. But the nice thing is when you've got quality teachers like we have here at Riverview, um, students are welcome back today and they're already jumping into to the academics. So that's definitely a piece that I'm very proud of. The school district is also closing in on selecting a new superintendent who will take over for Lori White when she retires next year. A decision is expected in mid-October. And in Manatee County, the school district's new mobile app is now available. It includes school calendars and lunch menus. You can also link school events to your personal calendar. Just search for My SDMC in the Google and Apple stores. Venice Christian Ministries Agape Flights will be making their first trip to Cuba. Cuba just a few hours from now. This will be Agape's first visit since the easing of travel restrictions. The group will depart from Venice Regional Airport with more than 10,000 meals and 26 water filtration system. Once the group arrives, Agape will coordinate with local church groups. We're bringing in water filter units, we're bringing in food, but ultimately we're bringing, like I said, hope and life, not just physical life, but spiritual life to the people of Cuba. Agape Flights has been operating on the Sun Coast since 1980. And straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with the official Sun Coast forecast. Plus, the report on the deadly gator attack at Disney World and the actions that the little boy's father took to try to save his son's life. And on the campaign trail, debate over Donald Trump's immigration plan and more out of Hillary Clinton's email scandal. Plus, the next time one of the candidates will be in our area. Shop GoWildHonda.com. Lease a new Civic for $174 and no down payment, just $174. Get great clearance deals now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's gotta be wild. Hi friends, I'm Linda Carson. And I'm Ray Collins. This Friday Fest season is already off to a great start, Ray. It certainly is, Linda. Coco Ray and the Keepers rock the stage in June and Ja Movement grew us in July. Join us this Friday at the Van Wezel when Rebel Heart takes the stage and performs performs today's greatest hits. We'll be there with great friends until the sun goes down. For more information, call this number or visit the thebenwazel.org and the Suncoast scene page at mysuncoast.com. August 26th, it's Game On. Tune in weekly for highlights and scores from the top high school games happening along the Sun Coast. Football Friday Night, sponsored by your local Gulf Coast Honda dealers. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. 
Installed by a highly skilled team, G-Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G-Freed Flooring America. G-Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Welcome to the all-new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour selection of quality new and pre-owned vehicles. Seymour for your trade-in. Seymour savings. Step up to GMC and get cash back for up to 12% of the MSRP on these select 2016 GMC vehicles. That's over 9,300 cash back on this Yukon. Seymour now at Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuickGMC.com. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care, right at home. Come uncork your inner artist at Painting with a Twist. Bring your favorite bottle of wine and appetizers and enjoy an evening out with friends to celebrate any special occasion. It's perfect for a girl's night out, birthday parties, or a fun date night. Painting with a Twist offers two or three hour classes that are instructed by local artists and there is no experience required. We now have two convenient locations in Sarasota and Bradenton. Visit our website to view our calendar and schedule your next party today. Shop GoWildHonda.com. Lease a new Accord for $189 and no down payment. Just $189 or 0.9% APR. Get great clearance deals now at GoWildHonda.com or visit Wild Honda Sarasota. It's got to be wild. Well, Bob, without those afternoon thunderstorms, we really felt the heat. Yes, the heat is on, and mm -hmm. it was like this weekend, too. I mean, it was yeah. just uh, one of the hottest weekends I can remember. Not a lot of storms to cool us off in the mm -hmm. afternoon and evening. We're going to get back to that pattern, though, pretty quickly. Uh, we'll start to transition to it tomorrow, and then okay. a better chance happening by Wednesday. Uh, we are also getting a lot of social media people uh, actually watching what's happening in the tropics. We'll talk a little bit more in detail what's happening with that system that we're kind of concerned with east of the Lesser Antilles. But we'll look at this tower cam shot as the sun was setting tonight. Tower cam time lapse getting a beautiful shot. Look at that sky just light up with all different kinds of colors from yellow to pink to even some orange at, at times. Now this sunset it was a result of some clouds that were around in the interior portion of the state that really lit up the sky here as the sun was setting tonight. Sydney Desmond getting this one from Siesta Key as a couple of folks are just kind of watching it in wonder and it has been uh, beautiful as far as sunset sunsets go over as uh, the last uh, really several months there's been tremendous amount of sunsets and uh, beautiful ones at that I should say a few showers around earlier over Arcadia and just south of Arcadia and a one or two into Charlotte County but that's been about it and that's a result a direct result of some dry air that's in place on top of that high pressure or sinking air which doesn't allow the storms to develop along that sea breeze front that dry air also playing a big role in inhibiting Fiona from developing into a large storm system and you can see it uh, quite clearly not much to it a tropical depression now and our little system to the east of the lesser Antilles still battling a lot of dry air around but uh, that dry air may move away in time we'll talk more about that in just a bit 85 degrees dew point 73 the winds are calm and it looks like a very warm overnight reading expected into the upper 70s which is above average we had an above average high today at 95 degrees at two degrees shy of the record of 97 our normal high at 90 and our normal low temperature at 74 degrees so we're riding high on both those uh, highs and lows no rainfall to report today we've been dry for the past couple of days we had a few showers on saturday but not many uh, we'll look to see more return on Wednesday, a few tomorrow. Temperatures statewide, it's warm everywhere. 85 degrees in Miami, 87 now in Key West. Orlando at 82 degrees. And as far as the area is concerned, generally into the 80s here near the coast. Uh, 84 in Venice, Sebring at 78 degrees, Avon Park at 79 and 82 in Punta Gorda. The water temperature now at the end of the Venice Pier at 85 degrees. Well, this high pressure ridge will slowly move off to the northeast tomorrow. That will set up the southeast to southeasterly wind flow, I should say, and that will bring us a little bit more moisture in play, which will allow for a few more storms throughout the rest of this week, really. 
You can see from the enhanced tropical satellite imagery, there's pockets of deep convection, but nothing organized around the center. It's a good sign. There's also quite a bit of dry air to the west of this system. There's Fiona. Uh, that's getting sheared apart, so the shear is still pretty strong. This has to get through the mountainous terrain here, too, in the Dominican Republic. We saw that last year with a storm that had a hard time uh, making it through there. In fact, it eventually dissipated, so we'll see how it plays out. We showed you this earlier, the forecast models, several different scenarios. One is that a trough of low pressure off the uh, Atlantic coast will eventually catch it and move it more to the north. That's this suite of models that you see right here. While another says one will dissipate, they'll dissipate right over the high mountainous terrain of the Dominican Republic, and that would be a good one. And then another one caused for more of a westerly bend here through the Florida Straits as a result of a high pressure ridge building over the uh, southeast and near Florida and Georgia. And that's another scenario. That's why the spread is so large here that you see. So what we'll have to do is wait. And conditions are not going to be all that favorable for this to strengthen into something significant. Uh, we could see a tropical storm, possibly a Category 1, but it's still a long way off, and a lot can happen between now and then. So no one can say with any certainty whether Florida is going to have an impact from this system, but uh, we'll have to watch it closely. For us, if it were to come across the state, more than likely it would be a, a tropical wave or a tropical low of some sort producing some pretty hefty storms, and that would ha wouldn't happen until Sunday and Monday, I believe, uh, after the weekend. We'll have to keep an eye on that dry air, though, as it makes its way off toward the east. As far as the Fiona is concerned, that is a tropical depression, and as I told you, Gaston is going to stay out there in the open waters of the Atlantic. For boaters, a light chop. Uh, winds will be out of the northeast, switching to the northwest late in the day at 5 to 10 knots. And the water temperature now at 88 degrees, and the UV index will stay high at a 10. As far as the forecast goes, we are expecting the next high tide at 415. And tonight, warm and muggy, lows into the upper 70s. The extended forecast is calling for a chance for a few showers on Tuesday afternoon and evening, working their way toward the coast. And then we get back into the thick of things, and we'll be keeping an eye on the tropics over the weekend for the possibility of some at least tropical downpours for us here along the Sun Coast. Haley. Thank you, Bob. State wildlife officials shedding more light today on the deadly gator attack at Disney in June. An FWC report says the gator acted in a, quote, predatory manner, and that two-year-old Lane Graves did nothing to provoke the reptile. The boy's father tried to pry open the gator's mouth that was clamped on his son, but the animal broke away. The report also says guests alerted staff to gators about 45 minutes prior to the attack, but it did not determine whether anything was done about that warning. Disney has since built a wall around Seven Seas Lagoon where this attack happened. The fire threat is on the move in the West. Seven major wildfires burning in Washington state alone. Three of those are in Spokane, where one has grown rapidly from 250 acres to around 5,000 in just hours. Everything from the trips to the letters, graduation pictures, whatever. All gone in the, all gone with nothing to show. It's a similar scene across the West as at least 25 fires burn from California to Nevada. There is some relief. All evacuation orders have been lifted for the blue cut fire in Southern California that destroyed more than 100 homes. Buzz on the campaign trail tonight over Donald Trump and his campaign's latest remarks on illegal immigration, as well as Hillary Clinton's email scandal, which does not seem to be going away. ABC's Maggie Ruley has more. It started when Donald Trump's new campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway, seemed to imply the candidate is retreating from his core position to deport illegal aliens. You're going to have a deportation force. Will that plan include a deportation force? To be determined. Trump had a weekend meeting with Hispanic supporters. Some president said he may no longer call for mass deportations. Trump has put a major immigration address on hold, but denies he's switching gears. We're working with a lot of people in the Hispanic community to try so, and come up with an answer. So you're not flip-flopping? No, I'm not flip-flopping. And Trump calling on the Clintons to shut down their charitable foundation, as the conservative group Judicial Watch has released emails that suggest big donors to the Clinton Foundation got expedited access to the State Department while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. In one, Doug Bant, a foundation employee, asked top Hillary aide Huma Abedin to set up a meeting with the Crown Prince of Bahrain, a major foundation donor, calling him a good friend of ours. Aberdeen scheduled the meeting. Clinton has denied wrongdoing. There is absolutely no connection between anything that I did as Secretary of State and the Clinton Foundation. Her actions corrupted and disgraced one of the most important departments of government.
The Clinton Foundation recently announced that it will no longer accept money from foreign governments and corporations if Hillary Clinton becomes president. The FBI said Monday it had discovered nearly 15,000 more Clinton emails, which could be released before the election. Maggie Bruley, ABC News, Washington. And campaign 2016 continues to roll through the all-important swing state of Florida. Both Donald Trump and Tim Kaine will return to the Sunshine State this week. The Republican presidential nominee is scheduled to appear at the Florida State Fairgrounds at 1 p.m. on Wednesday. The Democratic VP candidate, meanwhile, will tour a small business and hold a voter registration event in Tallahassee on Friday. He will then head to South Florida on Saturday. Sarasota police are asking for your help to find two grand theft suspects. Take a look at this surveillance video. Police say around 1120 p.m. on August 1st, the suspects stole two wireless surveillance cameras from Lido Surf and Sand on Benjamin Franklin Drive. The cameras are worth about $600 each. If you recognize the people in the video or you have any other information, you are asked to call SPD at the number on your screen. Rays versus Red Sox highlights next in sports. Stay with us. It's time for my Suncoast's Bark in the Park with the Bradenton Marauders at McKechnie Field. Bring your best friend and let them run the bases. August 28th at 1 p.m. Visit BradentonMarauders.com for info. Sponsored by ABC7. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits on the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Do you have what it takes to become a champion? The Sarasota YMCA Shark Swim Team has been developing champions since 1961. Fall swim team tryouts for kids ages 6 through 18 are being held August 15th through the 18th and August 22nd to the 25th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Tryouts are held at the Evelyn Sadler Jones Branch YMCA Selby Aquatic Center. For more information, visit sarasotaymca.org sharks. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKZ for only $299 per month or a 2016 Lincoln MKX, Lincoln's premium sports utility vehicle for $339 per month. We also have a great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. Drive with the confidence of a six-year, 100,000-mile comprehensive warranty and complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, family owned and operated and winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. Now, sports. The Rays' playoff chances are slim to none, but that doesn't mean Tampa Bay can't play the role of spoiler. The visiting Red Sox coming into tonight's matchup just a half game behind the first place Blue Jays in the AL East. And this had the markings of a really great pitching matchup. Rays 
up and comer Blake Snell versus former Rays up and comer David Price. Tonight, advantage Price. The lefty struck out eight batters and allowed just two hits in eight innings of work. Snell, meanwhile, struggled. He allowed just two runs, but walked five batters and could not make it through the fourth inning. The Red Sox win this one six to two and tie Toronto in first place. They came and went just like that. The Rio Summer Olympics are now in the books. And to check out the medal count, take a look at this. The U.S. dominated. American Olympians led with 46 gold medals, as well as total medals overall at 121. Great Britain came in a distant second with 67 overall. One of those golds was by the U.S. men's basketball team, led by this man, Coach Mike Krzyzewski, who returned home from Rio today. He's the first head coach to lead Team USA to three consecutive Olympic gold medals in men's basketball. America's victory over Serbia in the gold medal game this weekend is Krzyzewski's final game with the team. We believe in succession. You know, you take over a command, you want it to make it better. And then you want the person after you to make it better. And that's the spirit that we would like uh, to have keep going in, in, uh, for USA basketball. While this was the men's third straight gold medal, the women's basketball team took home their sixth straight with a win over Spain. Popular daily fantasy sports sites like FanDuel and DraftKings have the go-ahead to resume business in New York. They previously suspended operations there after the attorney general compared the games to illegal gambling. But now lawmakers have passed a law that defines daily fantasy sports as, quote, a game of, of skill and impose consumer protections. The state's gaming commission continues to work on long-term regulations. Let's look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers straight ahead. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Temperatures on the Sun Coast are rising and the deals are hotter than ever during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. You'll feel cooler than ever when you drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999 or take home a stylish new Jeep Renegade for just $17,999. How about a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999? Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764.
Don't miss the Weddings of Sarasota 16th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US 41. Sunday, August 28th from noon to 4 p.m. The runway show is on the stage at 3 p.m. Enjoy hors d'oeuvres and live entertainment. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars will be given away after the runway show, but you must be present to win. Make sure to pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight August 26th. Guests only $5. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. It's election season and some races can be tough to decide, but here's one candidate who is not having trouble winning over voters. Duke has won his re-election bid. He's actually the mayor of Cormorant, a small town in Minnesota. The nine-year-old Great Pyrenees was first elected three years ago with a write-in vote. He's apparently done a pretty good job in the role since he just <laughs> keeps getting re-elected. I don't know if there are term <laughs> limits on this, but you know. Yeah. He's up yeah, for re-election sure. next Isn't year. Isn't there term limits? There's no term limits. She's on them. Well, I we'll yeah. I mean, I guess he can goes. keep going. So yep. on these one-year terms, he's doing a great job. He's big and fluffy, you know. <laughs> so that's what he's got you going. You can't vote against. You it. cannot no. vote against no. the fluff, right? I mean, have a great night. See you tomorrow.